Good day everybody, this is the Ecclesiarch here, back with some more Horus Heresy Legions card reveals. And today I'm going to be revealing some cards for the Thousand Suns rework. As well as an interesting new mechanic that they're gonna be coming with. So, before we get into the cards, let's discuss the new mechanic. And it's actually quite simple, it's called Arcana. And it is trigger an effect after you spend Psychic Energy. So basically, uh, this means either when you use a psychic power, for example, or when you use an active ability that costs psyker. So if you guys remember, Thousand Suns Warlords come with abilities that use psychic um, power instead of energy a lot of times, right? For example, Magnus had his um, damage ability, Sanak had his buff. Ariman with his precognition. So this means that whenever you play a unit with Arcana, you have a chance to instantly trigger whatever effect it has. And you can even do it multiple times if you then maybe use uh, psychic powers on top of that. And maybe some of your other troops also have active abilities that use psychic, right? So overall, a very, very strong ability already. Already miles better than the Space Wolves. Now, let's take a look at the cards, and as per tradition, let's start from the common one. And number one is going to be the Myrach or Mirach Tactical Squad. It's going to be a 2 energy 2-3, two, already all right-ish in, in terms of stats. And Arcana, deal 1 damage to a random enemy. So this is already quite all right, to be honest. Okay stats, 3 HP means that a lot of Warlords might not be able to take it out instantly. And you can basically get instant value right off the bat if you're ready to use your psychic power with your warlord so overall a pretty neat little unit for sure let's now go to the apothecary so as per tradition i think they're trying to add apothecaries to uh, most legions so it's apothecary actera four energy three five so once again stats are quite all right i guess this is basically reminiscing uh, pen to dust which was before energy three five so this guy has Psyker 1 and Arcana, heal 2 to a random friendly unit. So this could be a very good unit just to heal up uh, your Warlord, like emergency healing. You can just spam some Psychic Powers, like if you get something like Psychic Lash and have a lot of Psyker, this could actually heal you up to full. So absolutely very, very interesting um, unit for sure. So uh, nothing like too crazy, but there's a lot of perspective there. Now let's go for the epic, which is the Henetai Blade, or Henetal, uh, no, Henetai Blade, Hentai Blade. <laughs> so basically this is a 3 energy, 3-4, uh, and it has Psyker 1 and Arcana, your Warlord gains plus 1 until your next turn. So basically this is similar to uh something that sanakt had except it doesn't have like reflection or anything so unless you're spamming your warlord power you're gonna not gonna be able to pull a sanakt only using the Kenatai blade so uh pretty interesting unit though it will definitely help you trade and um here's the thing it's your warlord gains until your next turn that makes me uh think that some of the warlords in the game are going to have act again like ariman used to have right so certainly a lot of interesting potential there and perhaps this is going to uh, push an aggro style of gameplay with thousand suns which is always welcome now for the final one who is motep asrach and librarian console so i'm not sure um, if this is the motep from the battle for the abyss or not but it's a very interesting card. Six energy, six, seven. Already pretty all right in terms of stats. Psyker three, which is really good. So this is our new uh, Isakar Or, apparently. And Arcana, lower the cost of a tactic in your hand by one. Now, this is really good because technically speaking, uh, what could happen with this is that if there is something like a Psychic Lash, uh, you could potentially lower the cost of it to zero. Well, uh, I, I believe psychic powers also count as tactics, unless something changes there. So you could make, let's say, a, I don't know, something like a psychic lash cost zero, and then basically potentially infinitely spam it, perhaps. So it really is going to depend on whether or not 
whether or not there is going to be uh, tactics like that, whether or not it's attended. Either way, it's going to be quite hard to pull off, but Thousand Suns have always had those infinity type of shenanigans. But, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to pull off, I believe, unless there's something that is going to be revealed later. Even if uh, that is not possible, which is probably going to be good and healthy for the game, this is going to be very good because, once again, you can reduce the power of your psychic powers in your hand, and that's going to be very, very, very useful. And good luck playing against this in Legacy, because in Legacy, <laughs> it's going to be terrifying. It's going to uh, pro potentially... Uh, reduce psychic lash costs and make it like insane to deal with but in any case guys uh, i do believe these are some very strong cards so they already seem quite a bit stronger than the space wolves so please leave a comment and tell me what you think ecclesiarch out